Coming off a strong third place finish in Iowa, Texas Congressman Ron Paul has now edged his way into second place in New Hampshire. That's according to the latest polls. The supporters say while the nomination is the main goal, keeping the candidate's message alive is just as important, even here at home. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle has more. Every first Saturday of the month, when do we want it? Now! a growing group of supporters gathers on the Texas Capitol's South Lawn. We need to audit the Fed. I would feel bad if I wasn't out here. I'd feel like I wasn't doing my duty. And the Lord! This Ron Paul revolution Ron Paul! winds down Congress Avenue through downtown Austin. Awesome. This is the biggest group that we've had since I've been marching. It's Tracy Scott's third time to travel two hours south from the Waco area. We've got a couple more hours to go. For this march, this veteran's brought a 10 year old activist in the making. And the Fed. Her grandson Jalen is starting early, already spreading word about the Texas congressman. He's never voted to raise taxes. He'll end the Fed and the IRS. He actually corrects his teachers when they tell him the wrong information about the Constitution or the government's role and whatnot. So I'm real proud of him for that. Since the summer, 2012. their presidential candidate has soared to become one of the top contenders in the race. A peace candidate. So many people just honking and thumbs up. And when I see that there's a loss of, of freedom, economic freedom, at some point people need to stand up and, and say something about it. Through the Texas primary later this spring, and perhaps the general election at the end of the year. Like a parade? Uh, political parade. Tracy, her grandson, and the rest of this group have pledged to keep Ron Paul's message going strong. It's so energizing, it's, it's kind of the endorphins kick in. The latest Suffolk University poll show, shows Paul edging into second place in New Hampshire behind Mitt Romney. The other Texan in the race, Governor Rick Perry, is in a very distant sixth. It all comes down to tomorrow when New Hampshire holds its primary. We'll have complete coverage here on KXAN News and KXAN.com throughout the day. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Thank